All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another Street City Studio. I'm John, and in this video, I'm pretty excited to get back to some Star Wars. Uh, I've been kicking around some Marvel Universe figures a lot lately, and I have not finished getting through these little, uh, little backdrop displays from Cardboard Galaxy. Uh, I'm pretty excited to play with a couple of these today. Let me get out of there. Uh, I don't know how many. We'll probably do another two of these, I guess. Just like the last video. We'll see how long this one takes, but... I've been pretty excited to get some figures in this one. I've already uh, started putting it on my shelf, actually, too. But uh, I wanted to get it in front of the camera a little more and uh, put some figures in here. Um, I've been pretty excited about this piece. Look at that. Oh, he's kind of casting a shadow on that wall. Let's pull him back a little bit so they're not. Oh, it's going to be quite a bit. I might have to move this light around or something, maybe. Try that. That's a little better, huh? That's a lot better. But uh, I wasn't real sure how many figures... I'm going to get in here at a time. I wanted to get this Dark Times Vader in here with uh, with my Luke. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a lightsaber battle exactly. Or like escorting him to the Emperor. Right. Oh, excuse me. I got a, I got a couple Emperors, but uh, probably the best one I've got is this Horrible, horrible figure. I've got a couple, uh, and actually they're right here. But they're none of them are from the original trilogy, right? I've got, I've got the Senate battle with Yoda in that brown fur, right? I've got, uh, oh, I've got uh, a very human-looking. Uh, Palpatine from from Phantom Menace, right? And I usually, if I need some articulation, I'll use this one. Uh, maybe from behind or something, right? So you can't see his face so well. Uh, worst case scenario, I can do a little kit bash and put this burned up face under this hood, uh, but hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully, hopefully this one's good enough, right? If I'm just doing like something like that, you don't necessarily need the whole figure to be doing much or looking too good, right? Uh, I do, I also have a couple other pieces. I, was, I wasn't sure if they're going to make it in here now. Let me make some space here. Uh, I have some 3D prints of the Emperor's window and his throne here i did these 3d prints quite a while ago they actually they got some dust on them i might uh, kick some of this dust off them before uh, before i use them too that's for sure but i was definitely thinking about doing a little setup here uh and like i said maybe Maybe more just like Vader's escorting Luke here, so I don't need the saber, right? Maybe have Luke kind of turn, so you can't tell I don't have handcuffs on him. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have Star Wars handcuffs. That was something on my list. Uh, to eventually make sure I get a hold of. But I do have, I think, mm, I 
Well, hold on, let's see that quickly. I thought I'd find it quickly. I do. Oh, right here. I do. I do have a tiny pair of handcuffs. There we go. I do have this tiny pair of handcuffs. They're not Star Wars. So they might not look perfect. Um. But they should do the job, right? Do it, do the trick. There we go. Get his arms kind of down in front of him. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Maybe get him up front. Right. See if we can't turn this light down a little bit here. That's a bit bright, right? There we go. Now, I wasn't sure. I know in a scene he had told these guys to take a hike. But I kind of just like having them around. These stabs always look bent. You got to get them in just the right position or prep them. Mm. Always slide out of his hand, too. I don't want to move this a bit. There we go. Move him that way. So that I can pull him to the edge a bit. Zoom in more. Look at that. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That Vader. That Vader really does look nice though. That's there we go. Come on, I'm losing focus. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can hold it for a minute. Now like I said, I kinda wonder work this 3d print in but now that I'm looking at it I don't think I'm gonna that's pretty nice kind of want to tip it down just that little bit square it up more but that looks cool Kinda do want to get them. Let me get them out of there and see how it looks. See, and that's that's what we call playing with it too. You play, playing with the scene, playing with the toys. Let's see how this looks if I pull these two over here so we can see the elevator a bit. Right. Leave that emperor right where he's at. Refocus here a bit. Maybe I turn that light down too far. Not getting good focus. Ooh, that emperor focused in good. Oh, there we go. Now I'm focused in good on him. I like that. There we go. Let's see if we can hold that. Maybe turn this brightness down a bit. 
Yeah. I might even throw in some lightning, right? I was thinking about maybe having this emperor throw some lightning at Luke. I don't know if I love that though. Starting to look too cheesy and reveal how cheap this figure is, maybe. Maybe just have him doing as little as possible. Unless I want to break them other guys out here. Unless I want to break these guys out. But again. Even with them, I'm trying to hide things, and at least this one, at least this one I can show his face if I have to, right? Let's see here, look. Right? That face looks pretty good. Let's see what this... Darkness turned down. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I like the way these lights are really popping. They look like lights, even though they're just printed on that background. That really pops. The only thing I don't like is some of these glossy reflections I'm getting on Luke. But, I mean, it's plastic. That's what happens with the plastic. Man, that's cool. I kind of, I kind of want to just insert myself in here for a second. Act like I was in the movie, too. All right. Like maybe I was telling, telling the emperor, don't do all this monologuing. Just get rid of them now. Just get rid of them. All this monologuing is gonna get you killed. You know that, <laughs> right? That's great. That's good stuff. That's why I have this figure, right? That's why I have this figure, so I can be. On the Death Star, in the Millennium Falcon, wherever, right? I can hang out with Luke Skywalker. I can hang out with the Emperor or Darth Vader. Man, it's so cool. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah. Someone else I wanted to squeeze into the scene and almost forgot. Was this guy. I love this little mouse droid. Can't forget the mouse droid. I got, uh, I got four of those guards, but I think I like this better without the guards. Maybe I'll do one where it's just the guards. I like that a lot. Maybe turn him like he hasn't turned to face him yet. Oh, I like that. If I can get his shadowing correct. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm gonna get this other one, I think, in here. See how this other one goes, too, now. I got, uh... Get these guys. I gotta remember to get these handcuffs back off of him. Those handcuffs gotta go. Actually, I'll do that right now before I forget, because I will forget. <laughs> this is this is the John box. This is the box of props I keep around just for just for my John figure. And these handcuffs came from the John box. Because they're something I made 
uh, from a, oh, what was it? I think it was a Chap May police officer. He had like a little handcuff hanging off his belt. And so I cut two of them apart and glued them together and then opened the cuff with a slit. Right? But anyway, so I keep those around just in case I need some handcuffs. Keep the box around with all kinds of props and accessories that I've picked up just just for my figure, I guess. My accessories. Let's get this folded up. And we're going to switch over now. Oh, everything, everything kind of shifted over here. I have to shift it back a bit. Next up is Jabba's Palace Audience Chamber. There we go. Let's try and refocus on this for a minute. Now I like this a lot. This is the like the stairs into Jabba's little room there. So what I was thinking for this one. I am a big fan of Max Rebo. And this figure and his little piano. It's good stuff. So that's what we're going to do. I don't have uh, size noodles yet. So it is what it is. We're going to be short. Size snoodles here, but we'll make do with what we have. Basically, I'll put him up here. Get these feet flat. Droopy McCool. There's a recent acquisition. I like that one a lot. He's he's got a funny look to him. He's interesting. Little mole man. And this guy, I hate this guy. He doesn't stand good, so I always try and lean him in that corner there. Just get what I can out of him. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Instead of size noodles. I have some yarn and gargan, right? I've got the dancers. Buffet. And he most certainly should be over here talking to these girls. Because that's what he does when he's at the Jabba's Palace, right? Boba Fett loves them girls at Jabba's. Good uh, bit for tuna can go in here somewhere, right? And now just like the other one, uh, just like I had... Palpatine over on this side. I'm probably gonna put Jabba. Let's see. Put Jabba in here somewhere. But I kind of don't want him taking up the whole shot. Right? So I'm not sure if I can just kind of maybe poke him in a little bit so he's. You can tell he's there, but see now we're blocking these girls. Let's see here. 
Yeah, there we go. That's a perfect spot for him. There we go. Look at that. Let's see if I can play with this a little bit. Something like that. I like that. Look at that. See if we can turn this brightness down too. Just like the last one. Right? Well, that's a that's a part of the mystique of a lot of these places too though, right? They're supposed to be dark and dingy and grimy. But emphasis on the dark. Try and get this in better position again. I don't like that I'm losing some of these figures, but it's not the worst. Man, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Maybe get me, like, coming down them stairs. Boba Fett. Giving me a hard time or something here. Let's see. Oh, I'm knocking the girls over now. Let me stand up here. Be careful. Be careful. There we go. There we go. Yeah, like Boba Fett's giving me a hard time at the door. I like that. That's fun. <laughs> I'm in Jabba's palace, y'all. Check me out. Try, try this one. Bargaining with Jabba and Bib. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any other shots I want to get. I kind of do. I want to zoom in on the band at least. Let me get out of there. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Man, once you zoom in there like that, you really get lost. Once you uh, contain it and can't can't see all that border up here and stuff. These pictures from Cardboard Galaxy uses for these are spot on. Oh, you can't even see my hand. Good. Spot on. Perfect, man. Thumbs up. Everyone so far. I'm just in love with them. Like I said, guys, if you didn't know already, uh, all these backdrops I got, uh, they're from Cardboard Galaxy. I highly recommend them. They've got, they come in uh, a variety of sizes, shapes, and background images. So go over there and check them out. Highly recommend them. He's got great deals going on all the time. I don't know uh, what his current deals are at the moment or anything. I don't, don't quote me, but... I know he's got some good prices and some good products. I highly recommend it. I'm having lots of fun with these things, man. Alright, let me see. Get Boba Fett back 
back in a better position and we'll call it a day I think. There we go. Yeah, you dim it out, man. It really does start to look like Jabba's Palace. Alright. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um... You keep playing with them toys, and I'll talk to you again real soon.